So if we are looking at your spiritual advice, we're going to defer to the spiritual advice card, okay? And then we'll start the reading from here. Um, this is the Three of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Three of Pentacles usually denotes a situation for me where everybody is contributing to build something of value. And everyone has to, you know, input their financial resources, their counsel, their advice, their insights, so that a situation can get off the ground so that everyone is on the same page and can communicate their needs, their wants, their desires for this situation to go a certain way. In the reverse position, it usually indicates some type of a communication blockage, communication breakdown, where one person's vision for the future might not coincide with another person's uh, vision for the future. Um, the three energies usually indicates as well too many people external to you or your partner or whoever you're dealing with offering their advice, offering their insights, offering their two cents where they don't really need to butt in. So I, I feel like it's a really good week overall for you to close down that circle, that inner circle of yours and really... Um, if it's a discussion, it needs to be between you and whoever it is that it relates to. So, for example, if there has been some trouble at work, if you find somebody is, um, you know, spreading rumors or, you know, mind or like talking about you, for example, don't confront them in a room full of people. OK, it's going to backfire. Pull them aside and just say, you know, in a gentle way. Hey, I've heard this and this, and I would appreciate it if you stop it. So when you can isolate a person and have that one-on-one -on -one conf uh, one -on -one conversation with them rather than confronting them, they're less defensive. They're more prone to listen to what you have to say because their ego is not on put on the spot or on center stage, okay? If it is a, a situation between you and your partner, if there has been arguments, and, and that's what I'm seeing here in this spread, you have to pull your partner aside and you kind of have to ask and try to understand where they're coming from rather than asking the opinions of other people that do not, that, that are not in the relationship. So, you know, narrowing down um, the, isolate the elements that are not working and talking to the other person one-on-one -on -one about what's not working and how can we improve things. This is a card about building things of value between you and another person. So usually you have to be on the same page. You have to have the same values. You have to, you don't need to do things the same way, but you need to kind of um, have a common vision. And I feel like you might realize w between you and other people, between you and a crush, between you and a relationship partner, that they don't have the same vision as you do. And I feel like this is something that I'm sensing has been swept under the rug in the past, okay? In the past position, we have here the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. This is usually one person bearing the financial burden of a situation, one person moving ahead, one person contributing, and they feel almost like they're being being taken advantage of. They feel like they're not fair. This can be you or the person that you're dealing with, which brings us to the present moment. You're overlooking a lot of things. You're overlooking a lot of things here because you want to maintain peace and harmony in this emotional connection. You feel like you're very in a very um, committed soul karmic relationship with another person. And because of it, you try to maintain the peace. Because of it, you focus on you know the the good traits about the other person and because of it you do a lot in order to maintain this union this um relationship in the challenge position i have here the six of um i'm sorry it's not the six it's uh the chariot the chariot is symbolic of your energy. This is you pushing ahead, um, trying to make a name for yourself, trying to, you know, get things started in your life, trying to achieve recognition, success, harnessing your energy, um, being like, um, I, I want to say, um, folk, it, it's almost like getting your heart and your head to align in one direction so that you can move forward, okay? And I feel in the challenge position, somebody is not really pulling their weight. Somebody is not putting in the hard work and the dedication that is necessary to keep things moving. Um, f honestly, for this week, be very, very careful about buckling under pressure.
Take care of things in a very timely manner. Don't assume that, you know, oh, oh I can, you know, procrastinate and, and do it another day. I'll push it further down the line, like kicking the can down the road, thinking that we're going to have time in the future to get things done. If your partner is making demands on you, um, understand where they're coming from so that you can get things done in a timely manner because for them it's very important that you get it done in a specific time frame but for you it might not take precedence in your life you might have other obligations that you need to do and so I feel this is a week for us to kind of like prioritize and for us to try to figure out what's really important and for us to also delegate but I do feel there's an element here about people not pulling their weight okay I have as well the Four of Swords in the reverse. This is in the foundation. The Four of Swords, this is like rest and rest, uh, recuperation, rest and restoration. And in the reverse position, it's almost like you're really, really pushing yourself past your limits and you're trying to get a lot of things done in a very short amount of time. Be careful about that because we tend to, you know, gloss over things. We tend not to proofread things. We tend to submit things that might not be completely... Um, that might not have been proofread. So making sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's and making sure that you do things in a timely manner. I see for some of you um, forgetting to pay bills, forgetting to pay something, forgetting to um, take care of some type of a financial obligation, not because you don't have the financial resources, but I feel like you are being very forgetful for this week, okay? In the near future, we have here the tower in the reverse. The tower in the reverse is some major, major change that you know is imminent that is coming into the picture. This can be an argument between two people when it comes overall to communication and when it comes to planning a future together, when it comes to, you know, what do do we value what is important to us and you might realize that between you and a partner or between you and another person that's significant to you that you don't have a lot um, in common that you don't come from the same background that you don't agree on a lot of things and so it's really hard to you know create some type of a solid future together we have as well the three of wands this is a situation that it's easy to just walk away from it and say the other person is all at fault or you know the fault lies with the other person but I feel you are a fixer you want to come back and make amends and you want to come back and try to rectify a situation and I feel for some of you this can be family quarrels some type of upsetting news that's coming from external to your family unit so it could be parents, um, somebody coming in, somebody who has fallen on hard times, somebody who literally has had a fall or lost their job or something like that. You're hearing about it. And this is not a situation that you can be like, oh, sucks for them. You know, I'm glad life is going well for me. I feel like you're coming in trying to appease and trying to make the other person feel better. Okay. Um, with the seven of wands, this is a very, very defensive type of an energy. This is somebody who is like... Um, argumentative, possibly difficult, and um, they, they, they have grudges with everybody. So it, it's like one person fighting against seven. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who is quite argumentative, quite combative, and they might have a lot of gr uh, people that hold. They hold a lot of grudges against a lot of people. They're not very easy when dealing with people. They're not very uh, diplomatic, and they could also be. Um, I'm seeing somebody who's had a hard life and then they they get very, very defensive when you criticize them. And, and I feel like you don't even mean to criticize them. It's just they take it as an affront to whatever, like a criticism against what they're doing. And so they they're going to be on edge and they're going to be defensive. And I feel like you want to go back and, and you know, uh, single handedly try to fix the situation. Um, the advice for you is once again, we're not on the same page. Revisit the situation at a later date. Okay. Revisit it when the other person is calm, when they're not moody, and especially when they're not uh, putting their walls up, when they're not in offense or attack mode. Okay. Uh, the person that you're dealing with, I have here an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. I'm actually going to clarify as well. Sun, moon, or rising, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. What is going on with this person? Why are they showing up in the reverse? Okay. So this is a love relationship partner. Okay. And um, you've invested a lot of time in this person. They've invested likewise a lot of time in you. 
And I feel like there's going to be arguments brewing between you and this person if this is somebody that you are dealing with. And I feel a lot of it is withholding information. They have some informa information that they're privy to that they're not really revealing to you and they're not letting you know. And I feel almost like this evasiveness. The King of Swords is someone who's a straight shooter, usually very, very honest. Think with their head. They could be, you know, like a little bit more on the icier, colder front. But when it's in the reverse position, I feel as if they're being evasive. They're not giving you all the information that you need. And I feel like you are romantically linked in with this person. There are times when they do things and say things that you feel could be very um, insensitive. Um, I see an element here about somebody criticizing somebody's family, okay? Upbringing, values, and I feel like there's criticism coming in. Censorship, criticism, harsh words coming through with this person, and even harsh judgment. And I feel like you're trying to fix things because innately you know that, you know, we're going to, we don't need to ag agree on everything. And I don't know why water signs are just really good at this. You have this innate understanding that we can hail from all different walks of life. We don't have to agree on things. We don't even have to um, like the same things. But if we're together, we can always build things. So I feel like you're trying to work things out with this person. And emotionally, I feel like emotionally you're wondering if it's still worth it to stay in this union and stay in this relationship. Um, so I'm seeing this air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Arising. Um, your hopes and fears. We have here hoping or even fearing a separation. And I feel like it is anxiety driven. So it, it is like fearing that the other person is going to be, uh, to have had it and like to walk away from you. So I feel like you are, uh, deeply trying to accommodate, trying to cater to another person. And you're really, really fearful that, you know, they shut down, they don't want to talk to me, or they're doing some type of evasive maneuvering, and they're not really giving me straightforward answers. The foundation, once again, I feel like there is potential for some of you um, um, to stray from a relationship as well. So be very careful about that, okay? Some temptation and some external influence that's... Um, bringing up some anxieties about, you know, stepping out on a relationship. And I, but I feel like it's coming from your end here, um, uh, cancers in your outcome position. We have here the emperor and the emperor is sort of like, this is someone who's, um, at his best, his or her best there, they get things done at their worst. They can be a little bit controlling, manipulative and, um, it's somebody that tries to compensate. So you or somebody can be embodying this energy where they don't feel like they're able to exact a lot of power in the world. They're able to control um, things that are happening in their lives. And so they kind of compensate by controlling things that are around them. Okay, so this is controlling behavior, um, creating an emotional stonewall and um, holding back love and affection. Okay, so you or somebody else could be dealing with this energy. And I have as well the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel a lot of family issues coming through for this week that you kind of have to play. I there The word is devil's advocate, but I feel like I was going to say you're going to have to play peacemaker. But in this situation, you might have to play devil's advocate with somebody else. And you, you know, they, they're, they're fixing their ways. They're very, very stubborn. They've already got their mind made up. And so the trick when dealing with somebody like this is to play devil's advocate with them and just tell them, okay, I know you're invested in this specific outcome, but can you just try to envision the alternative? And I feel like that's going to go over a lot better with them rather than telling them, you know, repeatedly, you should um, do this, you should do that, you should aim for a specific outcome. I feel like leading them to through that process where they can envision an alternative outcome, that's going to bode well for you. And it's going to actually let this person kind of um, see 
and understand that there's another way to do things. We have as well the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever conflict that's coming into the picture, it is going to get resolved. The Five of Pentacles deals with financial issues, financial instability, but also somebody being a little bit uh, tight-fisted when it comes to money. And also on the emotional front, it can mean, you know, feeling a little bit neglected and left out by a relationship partner. I feel like you're a relationship partner. They're dealing with some things. They're trying to get things in order. They're trying to get a lot of things figured out and done. And as a result of it, um, it's not going to be until the end of the week where they start to come around, where they start to, you know, include them, uh, include you into their plans, their their course of action and and update you on whatever it is that they've been doing or whatever it is that they've been up, up to. I see a lot of things here that indicate some type of a dwelling issue. So needing to even call in a contractor or somebody to fix things around the house. I also feel too many people involved in your family unit, um, too many people giving their inputs like family members and things like that. And I feel like it creates a lot of confusion. Don't try to accommodate people. You're not going to see eye to eye with them. Whatever they're giving you, it's appropriate for their situation, but not really appropriate for you. So you move on ahead with your own course of action with, you know, that sense of deliberation. Like I know what I'm doing and I'm going to push ahead. So I feel like some plans that you have, you're uh, excitedly showing it to another person or telling another person about your course of action. And instead of getting, you know, the support, they might like shoot holes in your plans. And I feel like that's when you kind of clam up and you kind of shut down and you kind of reserve your plans and your ideas to yourself. And once again, somebody can also be doing this to you. So be very, very careful about, you know, um, making sure that I, I keep seeing you trying to fix things, um, cancers. And I feel like taking a step away from it is actually a better deal for you overall. Okay. Um, you've got a lot of things that you need to take care of from your end. And I feel like, you know, you need to conserve that energy for yourself. All right.